Hello, folks. We're going to check her homework. This is a rarity for you. You're going to get to see us check homework. And then I'm going to do a, a real quick experiment. Uh, this whole tape shouldn't take but just a very few minutes. Uh, and then I will give you four other videos to watch. Uh, pretty easy day, no homework, no reading. Uh, but the videos will kind of help reinforce things that we have talked about. Hey guys, excuse me, I'm addressing a class here. They actually want to pay attention, so if y'all would be quiet, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, anyhow, uh, but we're gonna check our homework property of sounds. Uh, and then like I say, I will do a real quick experiment. Then I will let this go away and uh, You can watch the other videos. I'll have the link on there for you. Okay. All right Number one or number two on your paper uh, Blank describes your perception of the energy of a sound we think Rihanna loudness. loudness it was loudness you guys are good at that. You know what loudness is. What is it? All right. Uh, Brady, yours is right over there. If you want to get it out of that basket, I should have, hand, I should have already handed it to you. I forgot. I apologize. Uh, thank you. You'll see your name on it back uh, under Science 2. There you go. Is that is that the old one or is that the... Nature sound. That's the one where you've already did it. There should be one uh, property of sounds over there also. Okay. okay. All right. There you go. The amount of energy. Ladies and gentlemen. It's on film. Okay. It's on film. So keep cutting up. And then when I have to send you to the office, I got video proof. So please, by all means, keep it up. I'm sorry you had to witness that. It had to be heartbreaking to know that your classmates <laughs> talks during class. Okay. The amount, <laughs> the amount of energy a sound wave carries per second through a unit area is its. What do you think, Mason? Intensity. Intensity. It is intensity. Okay. The loudness of different sounds is compared using a unit called the, uh, what do you think Braxton? Decibel. Decibel or decibel. Okay. I like decibel. decibel. Okay. Decibel. Yeah, it sounds southern if you say decibel. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. The blank of a sound is a description of how high or low the sound seems to a person. What do you think Charlotte? Pitch. It is pitch. Okay. Sound waves with frequencies above the normal human range of hearing are called. What do you think, Evie? Um, ultrasound. 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 Okay. Sound waves with frequency below the normal human range of hearing are called. What do you think, Savannah? Inferred sounds, yep, very good. And the change in frequency of a wave at its source moves in relation to an observer is called the Doppler effect. It's true. What do you think, Margaret? Yeah. That is true. Yay. Yeah. Now, true. instead of me walking around collecting them right this second, leave them out, put, make sure your name is on it, mark it, I'm going to do a real quick experiment so that these guys do not get stuck watching me uh, walk around the room because that's kind of boring. Okay, so you're going to see what we're going to do. We're going to kind of demonstrate the Doppler effect, and I'm going to try to do this close to you, okay? I'm just going to bang on this, and then I'm going to run it back and forth to Mike, and you'll, hopefully you'll be able to hear the different pitch as it goes by. Okay, let's try it again. So hopefully you can hear that. Is and that I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this one as quite as well, but we're going to try it and see. Okay. All right. So that's less than five minutes that you had to look at my beautiful forehead. And uh, we'll see you later. <laughs>